Lane Art Geek here. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. We are here at Swamp Con in Gainesville, Florida. It is my second time going. Last year was wonderful, so I'm so excited to be here again. If you're wondering what this backdrop is, so UF colors are orange and blue, so that's why you have blue here. And then there's like hints of orange here and there. We're like in the staircase area right now. Just got our badge. Oh, sorry. We just got our badge, and now we're kind of just walking around. We have about... We have about 30 minutes left to start the day, start Artist Alley, start the vendor's room. Oh, we need to visit the vendor's room too. I haven't visited the vendor's room last year, surprisingly. So I'm gonna try to get as much footage as possible because I am so incredibly excited to be here. Let's start the day. Uh, day one is today. We're gonna go walk around a little bit and then we'll go from there. So the theme of this convention for this year, last year it was mythology, but this time it's circus themed. So that's why there's a circus backdrop. Circus is fun. I do like the colors for the circus, but I like this backdrop as well with the little stars. Go to the circus if you're gonna act like such a clown. So while we're here, we might as well do a fit check. I don't know where I got this from. It's, I think it's from Ross, I believe. I got it from Ross and then pants from Ross and then Converse shoes. And of course, since we're at UF, we're in Gainesville. <laughs> convention has already started. Artist Alley opened up two-ish, two-ish, actually no, not even an hour. It's an hour ago because we opened at 11. It's been an hour and oh my goodness, it's definitely been busy and I'm so happy to report that within that hour we've already gotten table back and hotel expenses, which we were only staying for one night by the way, so it's only like $94 of a night, so for just one night. So we already made all expenses, but the expenses were low. So I'm very happy that the rest of the weekend, literally it's 12 o'clock, the rest of the weekend is profit, so. I knew this was going to happen because I love this convention. Thank you guys. I'm so serious when I say that the moment we came back into this artist alley room, we were busy. Like a lot of people came by at once um, and they just did all of these transactions in one hour. It's insane. So I'm very, very happy with that. But I did want to show you something that my friend Stages of Mania gave me. He's such a sweetheart. So let's see if I can actually open it correctly. He gave me this like little gift basket. Can I just say, apparently this is fan art of me. If that's the case, it looks so cool. I just don't know if this is just a character or if it's actually me. I think it's me because he did the picnic basket with the hot dogs, which is so on brand and also the boba and I think like that's a flannel too so yeah this is on brand for me and it's the clouds and the sun okay I think this is me thank you so much for this he also gave us some sandwiches and cookies and there was water in here but we drank it already he also gave us some rice crispy treats just a little gift basket thank you so much for this you're such a sweetheart I will say this, I only had one Gojo left and it was the display because MegaCon wiped me out on Gojo keychains, but I just sold the display, so now I am completely sold out of Gojo. We love that. I am on the way to see if I can enter into the ballroom to watch Idol Fest because I've been really wanting to do that ever since last year again, and they were wonderful last year, so I can't wait to record more of that this year. And I'm also going to the Vocaloid concert, which I, I really hope I can get in. <laughs>
heading back to the table now, but I just got done watching the Idol Fest. That was just like a little bit of a portion that I saw, but I wish I could stay a little bit longer, but I do want to go back to the table because I do feel bad for leaving Philip at the table for a little bit long, but it'll be okay. I do want to say though that I do apologize for kind of a choppy beginning of the vlog just because it got really busy really quickly and I didn't have time to really say my thoughts or even show off the booth before it even started. So hopefully sometime during this vlog, which I will for sure show off the table because as you can clearly tell from that small clip I showed, it's changed. It truly has changed. So I do apologize and bear with me for having a choppy beginning of this vlog. Just a Denji keychain? Gotcha. So it's going to be $14.84 with tax. And did you need your receipt? You're all set then. Thank you. Hello, how are you? It's going great. I'm vlogging literally right now. Do you want to be in it? <laughs> By the way, thank you so much for the goodie bag. Oh my goodness. And okay, I have a question. Is that fan art of me? Like, it's me? No, I feel so bad because it's like I, st I criminally stylized the hell out of stuff. So it's on until I'm like, yes, that is definitely X, Y, Z. Oh my so, God. That is you. That's you like the billion fan I feel like I haven't done a sit down update for the convention, but it's currently 4.14, almost 4.30, and I think we end at 8 today. It's 8 today, 6 tomorrow, I believe, but we might pack up a little bit early depending, but y'all, this convention, just like last year, is hectic. I keep forgetting how hectic it was until it actually happens again, so whoever is watching this vlog and you went to SwapCon, I heavily appreciate you, seriously, because I think this is the quickest I've ever gotten my expenses back. I got literally everything paid back in like an hour. That's insane. That is crazy. I've never had that happen before. Usually I get expenses back. Even in MegaCon, I got expenses back in like three hours. But then again, then again, it was a busy convention and it was an expensive convention. I had more expenses to pay off, while this one, it was really easy and quick to pay off. So that's why I got it so quickly. Regardless, if you are watching this and you went to SwapCon, I thank you very much for your support. It means a lot. Earlier, it was supposed to be raining too, or it was raining, but it got a little bit better. So hopefully when we leave, it won't rain at all. Like I said, thank you for coming to the table and I do look forward to tomorrow, but the day isn't over yet because at 5.30, I got a Vocaloid concert to go to. You'll definitely see clips of that later. <laughs> Heading to the Vocaloid concert now.
Good morning, everyone. It is day two of SwampCon. I just want to say right now that I do apologize again for not being able to vlog yesterday because it was really busy yesterday. So I literally had a chance at all to actually show off the booth, but now I do. So clearly it is a lot different than my other booth designs. I wish that like I showed off some of these prints, but like because it was so busy, one design get, did get sold out, so I will show that in a second. But yesterday was really lovely. Thank you everyone that came by to the booth. Um, I'm speaking quietly because this is kind of like a smaller room and I don't want to be like too, too loud. <laughs> Thank you all for coming by yesterday. So let me show you guys what the booth looks like, finally. <laughs> so like I said, it is very different. I finally got blue grids. So I mainly taped each print um, on the corners of each of them and I put them on these grids and I was a little bit worried that they were going to be peeling But they're actually holding up really well. Thank God So and it's looking a lot cleaner than the grids and I, I don't know why I didn't do this earlier But I'm very happy I did and what the one print I mentioned it was actually the new husk and angel print that i did over the weekend i had smaller ones yesterday but they literally all got sold out so i have none of them anymore um and i meant to restock but uh i got a little too tired and i wasn't able to but that's okay because i still have some of the big prints left they'll be up on my website anyway so i'll just promote that if anything and then i think another print i didn't get to show off is my anatomy print so i have this big print of him and I believe I also have the small print of him as well. I only have a few of him left, but other than that, I think that's it for the new design of the booth. Everything else kind of stayed the same, but oh my god, I'm just obsessed with the blue. I'm very happy I went with the blue. I feel that like I wanted to do a cyan magenta and yellow palette kind of like cmyk but without the black so i'm just so happy i chose blue to promote that theme a lot more but yeah hopefully this is a good introduction because i am a little bit worried it will be busy again and i won't have time to film i am looking forward to the second day It is update time. It is 2.28, it's almost 2.30. I love this con. I just love the vibes and it's just so heartwarming and very welcoming. I know this is like my second year, so I haven't done it so often, but I love like the community here. It's just amazing and also just earning a good amount of money and getting everything back. It's just been so lovely and a lot of great comments so far, um, both for the comic by the way and just for my merch altogether. It's just been so lovely. 
Honestly, I definitely wouldn't have it any other way. I actually would have been so sad if I missed this con. So I'm really glad to be back. I do want to go around, record a little bit of the con, especially the other artist alley room, just to show you guys like what this con looks like. It is small. It's small, but the attendance is pretty good for a small convention. So if you ever want to do this con, I heavily recommend it. And the tables are cheap. I just can't get over how cheap these tables are. Like it's amazing. We have about four, four-ish hours left, I believe. We we do get out at 6 and then it's time to pack it up and go. Hopefully I'll record a little bit more for the rest of the day before we end it. bit slow now like the the room is a little bit empty because it is slow um, it is 4 55 it's almost 5 and the hall closes at 6 I think everything closes at 6 if I'm not mistaken or maybe just the vendors area we'll see I just want to also mention that yesterday I don't know if you guys can see it in the video but there were a lot of technical difficulties with the Miku concert, with the Vocaloid concert last night because I, I don't know why. There was a long line out there and I have talked to two people that said that they waited in line for three hours. Then they watched the Vocaloid concert and it was kind of like the same as last year. Granted, I did not go to the one last year, so this one was new to me, but they basically were like, yeah, it's the same concert as last year and the one, the head runner of that concert graduated already, so he wasn't able to like properly run it this time around. And I guess they didn't know what they were doing. They just had this Miku concert, this Vocaloid concert um, from last year. So they basically just reused it. I enjoyed it. Like I said, it was my first time watching it, but for those that went last year and they saw it again, they were a little bit upset. And I, I understand that. I did see clearly, very clearly, the technical difficulties. Besides that, I had an amazing time at my Vocaloid concert. Yeah, wanted to give that update because I thought it was very interesting last night. <laughs> It is six o'clock, which means we are pretty much done with SwampCon, but I did want to show off the booth one last time before we start cleaning up and show you guys what has been selling. Keychains sell like hotcakes. I feel like I should not have to explain myself. I actually sold out of my ASL Brothers keychain and um, Gojo. I was like, which one was it? So it's ASL Bros and Gojo. So thank you guys for that. And I just sold my last Angel Dust and Husk print. So I have no more of that from this convention. Y'all wiped me out. Um, um, but other than that, I think those are the only three things that got sold out, but I'm pretty, I'm running low on a lot of different prints, like my Oron print, um, I'd say Anonymy, and something else. I feel that, like, I need to restock my stickers regardless, and also just, like, a couple of my mini prints in general, even though I already restocked. So it's just a lot of things I have to restock, period. But other than that, I think that's pretty much it with that. And yeah, I 
I'm just so grateful for this convention. I will definitely cherish it forever. I made about 600 to 700 more dollars this year than last year, which is completely fine. I feel like that's still an improvement. Um, so thank you guys seriously for that. I will talk more about it in my ending clip, but we are gonna go ahead and clean everything up. I'm just so happy about my setup. Honestly, I feel like this is the best setup I've had yet. Hello everyone! Welcome to the ending segment of this video where I talk about my thoughts and feelings about a convention and whether or not I would go again. So let's go ahead and get started. I know that I haven't done this sort of like sitting down and actually talking to the camera for this part of any of my vlogs for a while. So I decided to change it up and go back to this. I'm not sure if I'm just going to continue just to do this from now on or if I want to just keep alternating between b-roll footage with a voiceover and me sitting down here and talking. I know last time you guys did prefer the b-roll footage and talking as a voiceover, but from this weekend I didn't record that much b-roll footage to be able to have a voiceover. I'm just gonna sit here and talk this time because of that reason. I'm pretty sure that I kind of briefly talked about the convention throughout the weekend, but I don't think I explained it enough. Of course, I love this convention. Um, I went to this convention already last year and I also made a vlog for it last year too. So if you want to watch that video, definitely check it out. I'll have it linked in the description below. I just want to say now that I am super, super grateful that I made about like 700 to 800 more dollars than, when, than what I've earned last year, which was I think I said I made about 2k last year, so if you can do the math, that's how much I've made, technically speaking. What I love about this convention too is the expenses are so low for me that I just, I'm so happy that, you know, all of that money is basically profit. The table was 120. Me and Philip actually stayed at a really not that good motel, um, but I only did it because we were just gonna stay for one night and I really, really wanted to keep expenses low uh, because for that reason, like I don't, like I wouldn't go all out if we're just gonna be staying for one night. Now, if we stayed for about, of course, like two to three or even more nights and it doesn't matter what convention it is, I will spend a little bit more money because of that. Um, but if it's just for one night, uh, we'll probably just do like the cheapest hotel around. You know what? It wasn't as bad as I thought it was going to be, but like we're kind of picky at it for our hotel stays now. Um, but like I said, it was just for one night, so I'm not, I'm not too concerned about that at all. Plus, we checked in really late at night, um, like after the convention that night, and then we checked out that the following morning. So it was literally just one night, like not even during the day, one night. So I'm not. I'm not complaining. <laughs> we had that and then we also had food and gas. So all in all, I think we had about a little over 200, $250 worth of expenses. I definitely made all of that back within like an hour of Saturday. And I'm, I, I just, I keep forgetting how great this con is. Like I'm, you know, I just told myself, oh, last year was great. I can't even imagine how great this year was. And it was better. It was definitely better. So thank you guys so, so much for an amazing Swamp Con again. I've had a lot of returning faces and a lot of new ones too. And you guys are just so amazing. I love y'all. Thank you. I love college conventions because you get, you're more personal with them because usually most of the attendees are students that go to that university who don't really go to conventions as often because they're staying on campus. These like anime events or like pop culture events are the only times where they can like congregate and have a good time. And SwampCon is one of them for University of Florida. So that's why it's always a great time. And this is why I'm also excited for Florida PolyCon, which is in Florida Polytechnic University, if I'm not mistaken. That's only for one day and that will be on the 16th of March. And then I'm going to FSU again for FreeCon, again, <laughs> for the end of March. Super excited to be going to these college conventions because they are always a good time. You guys are so nice. Everyone's just so nice and friendly. It makes me so happy. It's definitely a different vibe from having like 
bigger cons like mega con of course the staff are amazing you guys are doing a great job seriously thank you for running a great con i think that's it i just i love this convention i'm so grateful to have been able to go again this year and i hope that i'll be able to go again next year hopefully with more stuff that's more stuff this time. My next convention is Collective Con here in Jacksonville. Thank God, because I, <laughs> I've been traveling so often that I'm like, I need a convention here. I need a con here so I can just not have to think about traveling right now, even though the next two conventions after that, I will be traveling. So I'm, I'm glad to have that break, but yeah, that's pretty much it for this little recap. I hope you enjoyed the vlog. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you guys at the next convention. Have a great day, y'all.